Welcome everyone to a short Star Wars The Old Republic video where I want to talk about some things that were added with patch 5.9 that you guys might not know about and the most important one here is that the Darth Hexed companion is actually available once again for those players who have not already gotten her. So she's a pretty cool companion, comes with the Unstable Arbiter's Dual Saber, she's a Zabrak, Bloodthirsty Sith, um, and you even get like a short conversation with her at the Alliance base. So she's definitely a companion worth getting and she was introduced with the Dark vs. Light event but not all players had a chance to get her. She was introduced to a, a variety of like achievements and stuff in the past and it seems as though she is now once again available through an achievement. So if you go in your achievements tab and you check out the, um, the legacy part of the achievements and you see that there's one legacy achievement here called Feats of Strength and this achievement requires you to complete 40 uh, group activities. These include flashpoints, operations, war zones, starfighter. If you complete 40 of them via group finder, you will once again have a chance to, or not have a chance, you will once again get a token that gives you that alliance alert, and then you can go and get Darth Hexit as a companion. It also gives you a few other rewards. One of them is a title called The Galaxy's Finest, and the other one is 20 cartel coins. So not bad. It's a pretty decent achievement to complete. It's really easy. All you have to do is complete uh, 40 of whatever you enjoy so whether those be war zones or starfighter or operations or uprisings any real group activity just make sure you complete them using group finder so don't just create a group with your friends and go in it needs to be completed via group finder so that's where you can access that it's quite an easy way to get Darth Hexed once again I'm not sure if this is permanent or just temporary so you might as well do it as soon as you can just to make sure you get her as a companion if you don't already have her so aside from that, the second thing or a few other things that were actually added with patch 5.9 that I thought I would just uh, quickly discuss is that the cartel or the contraband slot machine has actually been changed a little bit. So before this uh, machine had a very small chance to drop cartel market certificates and um, I believe it was like some people have tried it out, it's like one in a thousand. So it costs you quite a bit of credits with, the, with buying the tokens and a lot of time sitting there just clicking to get cartel market certificates. So it wasn't a really viable way of getting them anyway but it does seem as though they have now been removed. So you can no longer obtain cartel market certificates by using the contraband slot machine. Instead, the machine now drops gold certificates. And those certificates are the ones that are used with the nightlife event that is coming back later this summer. So the nightlife event is coming back and the gold certificates are used to uh, purchase exclusive rewards and stuff. And so it seems as though this machine now drops the gold certificates and the cartel market certificates don't seem to be dropping. It's a slight nerf, definitely wasn't in the patch notes but I'm not sure how much of an impact it'll really have because I don't think anyone in the community is really using the contraband slot machine to get cartel market certificates as I said earlier it's not really viable it takes way too much time and, and quite a number of credits but as you guys have seen this video it is giving me the, the reputation still so it still dropped reputation for the contraband resale corporation it's a really easy and cheap way to get to legendary status but the irony is in order to buy the rewards that you can get by having such a high reputation you need cartel market certificates so those rewards include things like the mask of nihilus darth revan's mask and all that stuff but you need cartel market certificates to get them so the only way it seems to get those cartel market certificates again is to buy the old cartel packs either from the gtn or when they get put back up on the cartel market those are packs from like the wild space explorers pack and before that and those still drop you cartel market certificates anyways Aside from that, the other quick thing to talk about is the Flashpoint itself drops some pretty awesome rewards. It drops you awesome decorations. Uh, it also drops schematics. I got a schematic in story mode, and as you guys saw here on the mail, I actually sold that for 5.5 million credits. Now that was a really inflated price. Someone bought it the second I kind of put it up, and that was yesterday right when it was released. Now the prices have dropped down a lot more for these schematics. They're more in the price range of like 500 to a few million, 500,000 to a few million credits and so it's, it's still actually quite good I mean if you get a schematic go ahead and try to sell it on the GTN if you don't want to craft the augments uh, with with regards to the augments themselves they're running quite expensive right now it's not worth it to buy them because they only give you a very small marginal increase in stats so maybe if it if it costs like a million or less than a million it's worth it but if it costs more than that it is definitely not worth it to upgrade your augments it's gonna give you a very small boost in stats but nonetheless, it's quite nice to just sell it on, sell you know the schematics you get on the GTN, get a few credits from that. The decorations are also really, really nice. I got a few, and like there was a waterfall one, a few torches, some statues. The decorations are off the charts. They did a really good job with that. 
Um, and then the other thing is we actually get the order of Zildjog. So this was that data mine armor set we talked about earlier. This is actually dropping from the flashpoint. And as you guys can see on the GTN, it sells for a very reasonable amount. So if that's an armor set you were looking at getting, you can definitely pick it up off the GTN for quite a cheap price. Uh, but upper body armor is atrocious. I mean, the, the green orbs really ruin it. I don't like it, but the helmet is actually quite nice, I think. So the helmet is worth it to pick up just, you know, to have it in case you ever wanted to use it. Um, not the nicest armor set in game. Look nicer in the picture, honestly, but like whatever, it doesn't matter. Jobs from a flashpoint, at least we're getting unique armor sets from a flashpoint. That, that's something that's different. The decorations are a big highlight. And then aside from that, that's about it of what I wanted to highlight with patch 5.9. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about, you know, the cartel marker certificates being nerfed and stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.